probably been several hours since my this last video, so if I act any more stupid, it's because I've had three more drinks since then. But it currently is now the men's Royal Rumble match. Remember Tim and Remember Evil Ways, AJ Styles, where he won the TNA tournament and took the title and went home? Remember New Japan and Tony Bonner, AJ? Frontline! Well, I, and not gonna lie, AJ Styles won the, the WWE Championship like six months within his debut, though. It doesn't matter where AJ Styles is or what company he is, it doesn't matter how watered down or how much, how many free, like, I don't care who you are, I don't care where you're from, age, it doesn't matter what company that he, he comes from, AJ Styles is a big seller, and the moment he leaves that company, that company is going to hurt for a very long time. Oh! Your thing is going to be, sad thing is going to be watered down, but this is going to be New Japan shit right here. Please go back to New Japan. They, what title is that? The Intercontinental Championship. What? They fucking butchered it. I hope so. I hope so. It's one thing I can say. I hope so. Hey, hey, listen. Sober me would say the same thing. I would fucking mark out to see the fucking boogeyman. I don't care what you say. The boogeyman is my favorite troll character of all time. Shiki baby. Shiki baby. Shiki baby. Does anybody else want something warm up? I'm good. I don't think you can get me a lie. I fucking felt that. The other day I asked a customer if I could get him anything else, and they said a million dollars. Shinsuke and AJ had a rivalry in WWE, right? Mm -hmm. You know what the bad thing about that rivalry was? Maybe they they surrounded the whole rivalry. Yeah, well, well, no. no. Yes, yes. but you I'm know sorry. what the main focal point of the rivalry was? A low blow. Okay. And I thought Shinsuke would do was a low blow. Austin Theory! Is that McMahon? Person? Yes! He's basically John Cena. He was part of the way? With Johnny Gargano, um, Candice, and Indy. Do you know the way? Do you know it? Do you know the way? Do you know the way? You know the way? I know the word. Spit on the non-believer. What's, what's the word? Spit on the non-believer. The bird. Bird. Bird is the word? Spit yeah. on the non-believer. I thought everybody knew the bird was the word. Robert Roode was one of the greatest Impact World Champions, and now he's a goddamn nobody! So is AJ Styles, really. When's the last time AJ Styles did anything in WWE? I mean, WWE-wise, yeah, I haven't heard much from about it. Like, he was so good in TNA, and they're just not using him. Here's the thing. That's been his choice. That's been his choice. I think he has kind of took a back seat just to... Kinda. That's because that's because that's been his choice, and he's been wanting to wind down for a while. Yeah, I think he's trying to do more of a part timer thing to be able to be with his family more. What? He's teaming up with fucking Sheamus right now. Okay. That doesn't explain the match. Is Ridge Holland, he used to remember he had the broken nose thing and he wore it for a while. And now Ridge is wearing it because he broke his nose, I guess. Your broken nose, buddy. Ridge Holland, his real name is Luke Menzies. He's an English professional wrestler and a former professional rugby player. That means he means business. Oh, the man with the greatest frog splash right now in the 2020s, Montez Ford. Is that a red solo cup? Yes. That will fill you up? Yes. Oh, Punishment Martinez. El Generico! Oh, they changed his team. Ole, 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 ole. They changed his theme song. Ole, ole. My best friend's here. Oh, it's Knoxville. He's Jackass! Right 
He's winning it right there. Oh my god. Oh, and he's got Wee Man and Preston. I don't know who the black dude is. Why does Sammy get stuck with fucking shitty ass rivalries? This year is Johnny Knoxville. Last year was the fucking was fucking Logan Paul. I'm going for him. From Knoxville? Yes. There's no chance he's winning this. I, I listen, he's going toe to toe with one of the greatest wrestlers of all time right now. Uh, AJ is in my top ten. No! <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Like they're setting up for WrestleMania, man. Yep. That's a conspiracy theory. It is. Here comes the other partner of the group that who's okay. Angelo's okay. Listen, I just want to point out that Curtis Axel still maintains record for the longest person in the world. Because he is still never eliminated. Oh, it's the stiff ass, stupid ass man who's all who, who Vince is like, oh yes! You are seven feet tall! You are big! You are black! You are what I want. You are my 2020 Ahmed Johnson. You are perfect. Almost go smash. Almost is trash. She's like you're the new Ezekiel Jackson. I think Shaquille O'Neal was already a better wrestler than that guy. He's Vince. He's Vince's new big. He is Vince's new big dick he's project. Like a, uh, he's not as wide as Braun Strowman, but he's definitely bigger than Braun Strowman. Oh, oh, Prince Puma. Prince Puma, he's going to be gone in two seconds. Watch. Yeah, Puma, Prince please go to AEW where you're appreciated. Or go to New Japan where Will Ospreay is. Go back to New Japan. Hey, what happened to Lee <laughs> Uh, They're coming back. 90% of its wrestlers. They're coming back, suit. kind of. They're coming back, kind of, but they're like rebranded. I just remember when we watched it on Netflix, it was good, so then we took it off Netflix. Hey, it's Kurt Angle 3.0. Oh, it's Kurt Angle 3.0. It's Kurt Angle's son. If anybody knows his almost his weaknesses, it's AJ. Because AJ teamed up with him for a long time. They're waiting for him to turn his back. That way he wasn't ready. Then they all go. <laughs> and AJ's like, here, I'm helping too. Literally, and AJ knows almost his weaknesses. He's like, check the oil! Check the oil! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Ramus. Look how giant he is now, Chris. Yeah. I feel like Dominic should not be wrestling. After that cringe storyline that they did when he was a kid, which one? The ladder match one. The, the one where like, Eddie, it was Eddie's Eddie, idea. Uh, Eddie's. It was Eddie. custody or whatever. Yeah, it was all Eddie's idea and everything. That was all Eddie's idea. I too. would just forget that. that ever happened? Never be in wrestling again if I was him. What? Is this Happy Corbin? Yeah. Happy Corbin. Kansas what? City. What? He's got a mustache too. That fucking storyline was. It no, wasn't Corbin. as bad as the the two year long King Corbin one. No, I was gonna say the infamous Kane Triple H sleeping with the dead girl. Katie Vick. Yes. What about the one time that was that was kicked the baby that. into the crowd? So I'm. It wasn't my fault. I want Corbin to go back to Baron Corbin. I don't care about King Corbin. I don't care about Happy Corbin. I don't care about Sad Corbin. I don't care about I am gay for Ridge Holland Corbin. I want Baron Corbin, the lone wolf. Yeah, no, he's literally going to be Enhancement Tell for the rest of his career now. Where's Dolph Ziggler? What's he doing? There he is right there. <laughs> Okay, Dolph is underrated. Dolph is underrated. Dolph is super underrated. He's almost overrated. That's how underrated. No, no. There was a period where I would say he was overrated. He was. The Survivor Series thing. Yeah. I would put I would put him in I would I would say him and Miz are kind of in the same category as like they should be they should be put in the main event more than they should be, but yeah. I mean, I feel like Miz has a higher spot than Dolph, which makes me kind of go like, no. Corbin doesn't care what kind of bad guy he plays, as long as he's playing bad guy. Yeah, it'll be Ray takes out Corbin. Imagine else. Corbin playing a good guy. <laughs> he's going to be a sleazy fucker. Imagine Corbin player. playing yeah. a good guy. Or Cesaro. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to fucking God. You called the last pick. If this is Cesaro, it's Seamus. Close enough. Yeah. If you round it up, it's Cesaro. <laughs> <laughs> At least Seamus has his old look back. 
I'm yeah. happy he has an old look back. Now he just needs to be. He a, looks relevant now. Now he just has to be a badass like he was originally. Yeah. And same as defense, like I feel like it'd be a bit more difficult because he could have. He, there's a possibility he could have the same injury as Steve Austin. Honestly, if I was booking things, I would put him above Bobby Lashley. I'd have him fight Bobby Lashley. Oh no. Rick Boogs. This is this is Shinsuke's buddy. It's Boogs. Look at his He's small bean. Are they gonna put that gut wrench suplex thing like he just did in the game? Probably. Oh, I hope so because I'm gonna do it a lot. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> just Matt just fucking spot stand it. Just hold on, Kurt eh, Angle 3.0. Eh, 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 boom. Like eh, 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 Kurt Angle 3.0. Hold like on, I already Kurt have Angle. Spot in mind. After you gotta wait for I'm your buddy Otis. Back. That they have no God, hope of beating he's just me. Flat and I just fucking I finish her, I'm about to pin him, I'll pull their head up, and then I'll pick him up, and I'll do that. You know what's sad, guys? Out of all the people in this ring, if I were to think like Vince right now, none of these guys in the ring right now are WWE potential like title contenders. None of these guys are. This fucking piece of shit who sucks ass, Riddick no. Moss. Well, I'm really that glad that since they cut everything. He's wearing suspenders the and he looks gay as fuck. What are those shoes? Rich money shoes. Freddie Mercury would say he looks gay. <laughs> There's gonna be so many the... cringe mid cards in this goddamn game. He looks like the the member of the village people they kicked out. Between him and Boogie, it looks like the people that got denied at Chuck and Dale. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Between Moss they're, and they're Boogie. the Chuck E. Cheese version of Chip and Tails. <laughs> this entire ring screams enhancement talent. Sadly. Right now, yeah. If AJ was booked AJ. right, if AJ was booked right, no. If AJ Seamus was booked, Seamus. if AJ Baron and Seamus were booked right, no. AJ's in his golden years kind of deal. If Baron, okay, if Baron Corbin was booked right, he'd be a man inventor. Because right. Baron Corbin is actually better than you think. Baron Corbin is in a bad. He's better than you think. He's just got shitty fucking gimmicks. Constable Corbin, King Corbin, Happy Corbin, <laughs> Sad like, Corbin. All he gets is bad gimmicks from bad creators. I don't know if Vince McMahon likes Corbin or not, because he keeps him around, but he also gets really shitty gimmicks. He likes them, because Corbin's the yes man. Where's oh, the birds? Where's the birds? I want the birds to fly. We're living in the 80s again, guys. Yeah. We're living in the 80s again. I Good God. Like between them two Fuck. Right there between above. Moss and Boogs, we're living in the yeah. goddamn 80s. And and we got fucking Barry Corbin wearing a goddamn 90s Carlito shirt. Right. He's going to spit in his face. He's going to tell us what isn't cool. I guess it was that dude. Listen, if this doesn't scream that WWE is dying, then I don't know what you're. I don't know. Not dying. This is like this is this is horrible because like when you have gimmicks like that, and you have base ass gimmicks like I'm a pothead, or people like Sheamus or Ziggler who've been busting their asses for years, but they just keep getting shoved aside because Vince is like, I want a Caribbean money man, or I want a pothead, or I want a man who wears shorts up to his ass and wears suspenders. Oh, I mean, everyone's going to die now. Speaking of which, McIntyre is a 91 overall. Man. Everyone's going to die now. He's going to bring that sword in the ring and kill everyone. His sword is his foot. His sword is his penis. <laughs> I mean, there could be a yes or no on that one. I don't think he's going to win this year, though. It's going to be Brock. He's pretty boring. Drew McIntyre? Yeah. He's a good wrestler. He's a good wrestler, but he's pretty boring. And if we give him the WWE like handcuffs, yes, he's boring. His, his, his impact, impact was pretty good, I thought. That's because Vince doesn't know how to run a company. He knows how to run a soap opera, but not a company. I mean, they, because he's too far up his own dick. McIntyre. Wait, is Gay Man gone? Yep. So is Carlito 2.0? Oh, Baron's dead. Riddick's dead. Like, that was Prime Heel, one of the best theme songs of. A long time. Mm -hmm. A broken dream. Yeah. Everyone's been wanting that thing to come back but then so for, bad. But then for some reason, they made yeah, him a pirate. Kill Steed, kill! Kill Steed, kill! Kill He still has a look in his eyes. He never has that look gone. He always has the look of kill. Now, if it's anything consistent, 
he always se seems to get fucked up in every fight, like into a ladder or steps. Or well, something. when it become when it, when it comes to uh, Kevin and Sammy, Kevin always gets the better better the better push. Yeah. Because listen, oh the Ken because Kevin. The Kevin mom. Kevin's got the better look. I'm sorry. I I like Kevin more than Sammy. I'm sorry. I used to like Sammy, the but he looks like he kind of let himself go. El Generico's last match in Ring of Honor when he went to WWE. God, that match was fucking. Oh, the, the final fight. Yeah, between him and Steve. Yeah. I'm I'm still They're gonna say. They're fucking feud after they broke up as the tag team was. I'm still gonna insane. say that Kevin was always my favorite out of the two. Yes. I've always loved Kevin more. Yes. Generico was cool and fun. Yeah, especially his matches with Delirious. Here we go. the cover star of WWE 2K22. And it's also the, the sole custody holder of Mr. Junior Guerrero. And it's also. What? What did he do? Oh, he's a murderer! <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting until that punchline came. Oh, time for the Kofi spots. And he's out. He touched. He touched. He's done. Touched. Oh, he touched. 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 He straight fucking touched. I think he botched. I think so. I don't no. think he was supposed to have touched. He touched. But ha! touched. They he touched. could not deny that one. He touched. He tried to deny it. Well, Kevin, good job. You saved me an alcoholic drink, even though I made half a one. They they couldn't deny that one, but uh, yeah, I don't think he was supposed to. He was about to, to do another Spider-Man one, but I think he's getting up there in age. Oh, yes. Here's the winner of the Royal Rumble. Oh, just... Look at that man! He's like, I used to date Mandy Rose. Now look at me. I now date Curtis. Uh, Otis is probably the best wrestler in this ring right now. You wouldn't say that two years ago. You're only saying that because he's a monster now because of Chad Gable. I always liked him. He's the oink oink guy, right? He needs to be goofy. That was the best thing about him. He's a goofy guy. What do you think Tucker's fired? I hope when I do, if I do the league again this year, um, I'm going to get him as a guest. Look at him. He's serious now. That's still kind of goofy. He's serious now. He still has that goofy. He is still. It's it's Otis the serious man Gable for the academy. Otis Do Dojovich. No, it's Big E. Remember when Carlito debuted in the Rumble last year and then fucking dipped out like a goddamn week later? Yep. Hey, look, it's the former the former world champion. They moved him back to SmackDown because you know New Day is important. They literally had him lose a championship, go back to SmackDown and say, Oh, the New Day's back together, guys. I think right now, Kofi's supposed to still well, be in it. got his face booted off. I think right now, Kofi's still supposed to be in it if Kofi didn't botch. Bad so, Bunny. All right. The legend's back. Who, who the fuck is Bad Bunny and why am I he's trying a Mex here? He's a Mex Mexican wrestler who performed well at WrestleMania. He actually he, he did good. He was actually one of the better celebrities that did really good. But and he had a good send off. But right? he also is kind of a waste of space in this Royal Rumble. Yeah, it's kind of a waste of space. Uh, did you did you guys hear about the new gaming uh, movie that The Rock's working on? Apparently they're making a Call of Duty movie. Uh -huh. and starring in it. I'd rather piss my goddamn cup than watch that. The Rock's gonna be like Call Doom Duty. all over again. Call of Duty the game. Oh, you mean Sneak? Say no, Matt. Watch if Vince McMahon come out. <laughs> but why? Mike, you look confused. I'm disappointed. Fans, the this is another waste. Like. This is the waste, of, uh, another waste of space. You know what he could. Win. You know what I know what happens when you fire over eighty percent of your goddamn company. You have to fucking pull straws and pull people out of your asshole to get to come to the rumble because no one gives a shit. But it's Kevin Owens in there with him. Who the cares? Shane's a waste of space in this rumble. He's a Shane. Yeah, yeah, space no, he's just a spot. Yeah, and the fact that mess. Kevin Owens is treated as a goddamn mid carder, it's like. Yeah. And he's not really like one that like everyone's like a big exactly. Like, exactly. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. 
Like, I mean, Shane should not be treated like, like a main eventer or I'm the best in the world. I would rather Shane, have, you are an old man. I would rather have Boogeyman come out or something. Yeah. Make make somebody eat some worms. Yeah. Like make Otis eat some worms. He'd probably eat and be like, mm, I am the bulldozer now. <laughs> I heard that chuckle. Also, Ray Yorton's not in it. Speaking of my boy, <laughs> my boy. Cue the bad CGI. My hey, boy. Yeah. Okay, so one of two things are going to happen. Either they're going to do the right thing and have Randy Orton win in, in his hometown, or they're Sorry. going to do the other right slash wrong thing and have Brock Lesnar win the Rumble. I would listen, Riddle, easy. Riddle, Riddle. You should learn something about Randy Orton. No, don't you trust don't him. trust a snake. No, remember that was see that's Drew's fault, but that was still snake pretty good. Another snake. I mean, that's Stone Cold. Like <laughs> yeah. Trust. Yes. Yes. It's over. It's over. It's over. Well, and he's angry too, so he's gonna go out there and just destroy everyone. This is typical Vince McMahon booking. Brock Lesnar is going to win the whole thing because Vince likes to shove his dick so far up a Brock's ass. Yeah, look, he's going to throw people everywhere. Who's going to be the final shooter? Mike, you said that he evolved into more wrestling. I've only seen I the same two flashes in the go down to Orton and Brock. That would be the best case scenario. What if Orton yeah. surprises him and beats him? What if, Bad what if Brock botches and Orton wins? What if Bad Bunny eliminates Orton? Oh, God. Oh. Well, there goes mine. Okay. What if Bad Bunny eliminates Brock Lesnar? Don't hurt the bunny. Yeah, Bad Bunny you have McIntyre in there, so probably... Oh, <laughs> yeah, I forgot McIntyre's the guy that beat him for the title. So, yeah, it'll probably go down Brock, to Mac no, and I, Brock. Fuck it. I don't care. Brock's winning. Brock, yeah. it, it's typical booking. Oh, yeah. I'm calling it right now. It's typical booking. They're setting up Brock versus Roman for the goddamn championship. And it's gonna be Brock and Roman for oh, the fourth good. time at WrestleMania. They're literally like, "Hey, Brock, I want you to go in there and just throw everyone." Uh, look, as a normal suplex. That's a new move right there. No, it's not. Unless Brock fucking just botches like hell. Is Brock the one that keeps throwing everybody off? Yeah. Brock's yeah. the one in the black shorts and the fucking yeah, weird ass the black tail. shorts. The guy who is doing the F5 Fair right enough. now. Yeah, Brock Lesnar again. Here is your winner and a two-time Royal Rumble winner because I can call Vince booking from a mile away. It is Brock Lesnar because Vince has no originality. Vince is in the back with a heart on right now. Oh, yes! Brock won! Let me start both of my cocks right now. Here, Link, here, Shane, come here. Stork my third cock while you're at it. He said, nobody, nobody saw this one coming. Right I was hoping that Randy would win just by, by faith. But I knew how the card looked, it was going to be brought. Any final thoughts on our uh, highlights? Final Fantasy. Was it typical bad wrestling booking on your hand? Yeah, it was typical WWE. If you were Did a star. Did you call Brock winning the Rumble before the show uh, started? Uh, once he lost. The title, yes. Point at the sign, see if it, maybe it'll catch fire and this now time. now we're going to get Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar we for Pyro? a... Oh, oh. And now, Billy, we're getting... Oh, no oh Pyro God. for Brock. Who's going to fight Bobby for the title then? There's no defendable... There's no credible people to fight Bobby for the championship. I'll, I'll there's tell you none. This. There's nobody on Raw right now. It's John Cena! Is that it? That's yeah. it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, who's right? Oh, who's right? It wasn't the worst pay-per-view I've seen. I'll give the pay-per-view a 9.5 if 10 is the worst. <laughs> I'm going, as you, as my official rating for the Royal Rumble. Official-wise, I, I would say maybe. Uh, I would say six. Yeah, that's probably where I would go. It wasn't the worst WWE. It was I've a seen, six, but it was. It was like I mean I'm not. It was I'm not really mad. And literally, the reason I don't watch WWE anymore. I'm not really mad about how the the pay per view ended, anything. but I'm also yeah. not really happy how the pay per view ended because like I I fucking called it. Mm. Like it's fucking sad that I can call how pay per view is going to end because 
That is what happens after you fire over half your company. You have no credible world champions besides a part-time fucking loser who looks like Goro half the time. I'm so sure it's on the turnover. Dylan! What's your rating? So there's three sixes. Alright, so it's the devil. That is six out of ten for Krieger Margin, six out of ten for Lannis and Fang, six out of ten for me. Jackie, what's your rating on the pair view? Um, I slapped him after that. So, <laughs> so a three. three. <laughs> she has a half. See, so it's three out of ten. Um, it's the number of the beast. Anyways, this is my check ninety five. Overall rating for you uh the Royal Rumble is right here on the screen. If I come for two nights of hey, WrestleMania, I will be. Drink? We're signing off. Goodbye. Hi.